Hey, Beard Dad here. Welcome back to the channel. Or hey, first time here, welcome. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Win Model AT6535 Spindle Sander. This is the first unboxing I've ever done. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, also hit the notifications for when I unbox more stuff and more videos come out. All right, I purchased this from my local Lowe's. Uh, it was drop shipped from Win itself. Uh, one of the things that I did realize is that uh, you could actually match the prices from the Win manufacturer website itself. Uh, Win does have a direct to consumer pricing. You can order from Win. Uh, I'm not sure what the drop shipping cost is because I got mine from Lowe's. However, one thing to realize is that Lowe's will match the prices of the manufacturer if they can. Uh, they do have to have a little bit of a profit margin in there and then they're willing to lose that profit margin to make sure to keep you as a customer. So make sure you check the WIM website and again, ask them to match the prices. The worst they'll say is no and you'll cancel your order and then you'll go ahead and just move on to the WIM manufacturer itself um, and see what the shipping is there. All right, let's go and open this box up. There is a, this side fragile up, so make sure you have the box facing up when you open it. Go ahead and pop this open. First thing first is the instruction manual for the oscillating spindle sander. Next thing up is a top box that has a couple accessories in it that you probably need. All right, so we pulled out the top part of the box. Here's everything in it. It comes with the four different sizes of the spindle for the sander itself. It also comes with a bag full of sanding paper at the different uh, widths of these as well, the different heights of these. Uh, and this also comes with the, it looks like it goes on top of the spindle sander to make sure you don't get your fingers in there uh, and possibly rip something off. All right, so last thing in this box is the oscillating spindle sander itself, the actual machine. Be careful getting it out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tilt the box down and pull it out just to make sure I don't actually pull by the handle. I'm not sure what that's gonna do. Um, it does look really greasy on the handle itself. So let me go ahead and lead it down and pull it out that way. All right, so here is the device itself, the oscillating sander. It's pretty well wrapped. We're gonna go ahead and unwrap this sucker. Be careful, there is grease around where the oscillating spindle sander is actually located at, or the device that actually goes up and down and sanders. This device actually isn't that heavy. Um, it's not awkward at all either. All right, so here's the oscillating spindle sander device itself. All right, so in this box, you'll actually receive four different uh, sanding drums that come with it, which actually receive five different 80 grit sanding paper comes with it. Um, these actually line up just like this. And then this actually goes straight on to the uh, thing itself. Um, there's nothing on there. Just be careful, it's full of grease. Um, I don't think I'll ever have to use this little tiny one. Um, this one's a half an inch. This one's three quarters of an inch. This one's one inch. This one's one and a half inch. And this one's two inches. All right, in the box you receive four rubber sanding drums. This one's a two inch. This one's a one and a half an inch. This one's a one inch. And this one's a three quarters of an inch. All right, so the kit comes with five different types of washers. This one, the biggest washer is actually gonna be the one that actually goes down first on all the different configurations for this. And then you're gonna have a two incher, a one and a quarter, or sorry, one and a half inch. This one's a one inch. This one is a three quarters of an inch. And then you have one left over that just goes on top of the small one that is a half an inch. All right, so let's go ahead and set up the two incher. Let's go ahead and go with the biggest one, makes it much easier. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna remove this nut off of this. Be careful, it is really, really greased. All right, let's go ahead and assemble the spindle sander. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the biggest washer possible. And you're gonna go ahead and put that down on top of there, just like that. The next thing you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and grab the horizontal sanding plates. These do vary in different sizes. Uh, they are marked on there at the very top. This one's one and a half. This one is one inch. This one's 0.75 inch, half an inch, half an inch, 0.75 inches, uh, one inch. Let's see, this one is two inches. And then we have some of the beveling ones at two inches and one and a half inches. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab the two inch one from the horizontal sanding plate, throat plates. Um, on these throat plates, there is a little notch. It does align with the actual machine itself to make sure you guys line it up. 
Let's put that right on top of there. Next thing is the sanding drum. Should fit right on there. Next up is the 80 grit sandpaper. After that is gonna be the washer, the two inch washer that goes with the two inch spindler sander. Put that on top of there, pretty simple to do. Next, we're gonna put the nut back on. All right, in your little kit, there is going to be a tool that you can use to tighten the nuts. Let's go ahead and do that. You will have to hold on to the uh, spindle sander just so it won't move. So go ahead and tighten it down. Go ahead and do it just, just a little bit of arm tight, go from there. All right, now that we have everything assembled, it's time to think about dust collection. What are we gonna do for dust collection? This wind actually has something pretty simplistic to do, and I'll show you on the back. So on the back of here, there's actually a little, I believe it's a two and a half that you can actually hook up, which will catch all the dust if you do have a dust extractor. All right, so one of the last features here on this win is actually the storage of the drums as well as the sandpaper for easy access. Stored right here, nice and easy to grab if you ever need them. The only challenge that I found is that one, um, there is no place to actually put all of the washers that go with it. So that's interesting. Um, I don't know if I've missed it or if it's someplace else. All right, so another neat feature on this is the ability to actually tilt this part down. What you wanna do is on both sides of here, you're gonna see two little orange twisties. Twist those down, tilt it down. Oop. And then you have to use, I use my thumbs and lock it back in place, just like that. Now we're at a nice degree to be able to do a beveled sanding job on there. And then to put it back, you just undo the whole thing, flatten it down, tighten it back up, and you are good to go. All right, well that concludes our video on the Win Oscillating Spindle Sander. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, make sure you have the subscribe button. And there are more things that I've purchased that I plan on doing unboxing for. Hope you guys have a good one. And always, thanks for watching.